I, the revolution is upon us. It's due time we stop living as second-rate citizens in our own country. For this here is our moment to shine. Well, hey guys, in this video we play the early, early access of the Making America Again mod. Um, yes, yeah, specifically early, early access, because this will be earlier than the actual early access, which will be coming out in a long time. And by a long time, I mean the early access, not the release. I, 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 I don't. But yes, this is a very interesting mod where you have Trump in an eye patch and Sanders leading California instead of anywhere where he like actually lives or anything. Anyways, there's there's a lot of cool stuff here, like a great Lord Protector path, and I am a well-known fan of Lord Protectors, of course. You have Maoist Bernie Sanders. I, I really don't know what more you could ask for, but, but today we play as Texas because the person who developed Texas told me to, and as a very unbiased source, I, I just, I trust them, so I'll play um, Texas, yeah. We're currently led by Ted Cruz, for some reason, not to like the governor or anything, but you know, makes sense. We're ANCAPs, obviously, along with several of our neighbors. Almost all of our neighbors, actually, all these guys over here. We share borders with two other big states, and other than that, everything is just very calm. I'm sure, um, sure nothing's, nothing's gonna happen at all, yeah. Mm. Also, yeah, if it wasn't already obvious, this mod does take place in April of 2021. This is like three weeks ago. <laughs> Four weeks ago, I guess now, yeah. We have um, updated technology to match, of course, except this. But yeah, that's the um, largest issue with um, modern day Hoi 4 mods is if you just give everybody access to this stuff, then the game is kind of unplayable. So, you know, it's it's fine to not have this research. And of course, let me also clarify too, this is in early, early access. So if some stuff doesn't look complete yet, it's probably because it isn't, hopefully. And just looking around, I think we are the state with the most military factories. I guess that makes sense. We are Texas after all. Canada is, Canada is really, really powerful though. And I also should mention, we have fascist KFC, vermin supreme leading a country. I would of course play as one of them, but they, they don't have focus trees quite yet. So that's not really an option unless I was just gonna make everything up, but yeah. Well, also we do have an independent communist to Detroit, which if they don't add a Detroit become human path, I will be disappointed. And we have the Fourth Reich, of course. Of course, I should have known this from the start. It was obvious that it was gonna come to this. No, oh, no. I commissary to Californian. No, this is curse. Oh. Hey, and we got the Anprims too. It, it took a while, but they finally shown up to the party. They're being vaccinated, which I feel like kind of goes against their Anprim ideology, but I guess is good. Oh. Hmm. Also, it's very nice. Trump has the modifier Space Force. I'm I'm pretty sure um they don't really have many of those space facilities. If anything, us and Florida would most likely have that. Well, I guess he kind of has Florida. Uh and the primitivists are getting some help in their war. I, I feel like these two are quite the opposite though. Um uh, fascists and and Prims. Yeah, I'm sorry, Anne Prim. Um, I don't think you'll be winning in the end, no matter how this goes. And now, there's been a lot of chaos going on in the world, but we can do something for ourselves now. We can either ratify the Texas Constitution, or we can go in a different direction, which usually um turns out great. Yes, with the Great Monarchy Referendum coming soon. Yes, okay, I think this is the best. This is the best part of this mod. <laughs> Michigan was taken over by John McAfee. <laughs> he ran for president, you know, he, um, he founded the antivirus, then he made that YouTube video about how to uninstall it, which was very helpful. It helped me out a lot. Um, oh, this is blessed. Uh, actually, I'm starting to think he maybe did a little bit more than just make the antivirus software in that one YouTube video. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh yes, Ted scanned the headlines of the newspaper placed on his desk, which reads in large bold letters, Texan Monarchist Party reaches 10,000 members. He spoke. This seems very interesting. I should keep my eye on this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and Canada abolishes the monarchy. Oh. Okay. No Britain is here, even though, like, it doesn't make sense for Britain to be here. Yeah, they're, they're technically here, just in their expeditionary forces and their islands. So they're probably not too happy. 
Oh, okay, well, um, getting rid of the monarchy might have not been the best idea for Canada. Yes, that's what happens. Oh good, it looks like, it looks like the next group of interesting people are going to lose, probably. I, I, I honestly support Kevin O'Leary's claim to the Canadian throne. I think it's rightfully his. We have our place in Texas, he can have his in Canada. Unless Trudeau reunites it, maybe. When you when you thought things couldn't get any worse, Jeb, Jeb aside, I, I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we are prepared to act in the national security interest of this country to get back in the business of creating a more powerful world. Good one, Jeb. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one video where I like played as Jeb in a ton of different mods, that was probably my finest work of art, so I appreciate that he's here, even though I don't know what's going on with him. Oh, and um, we're very lucky. It looks like Jeb is gonna lose. America is safe for now. And my friends, my fellow nobles, it is with a happy heart that I tell you the good news of the kingdom of Texas. Beautiful, <laughs> led by a regency council now, but yes, finally, finally, goodness has been restored to, to the Americas. Trudeau tried to destroy destroy monarchism in Canada and failed. And finally, has the anti-monarchism spread throughout these states for centuries been quenched? So yeah, now we can choose a liberal king, which, <laughs> cringe. A European king, also cringe. Wait a second, elect the heir to the house of Hohenzollern as our Koenig? Okay, maybe that's not as cringe as I originally thought. Uh, we're still gonna do a Texan king, the, the least cringe option. Oh, oh no, um, Oklahoma and Louisiana have risen up. I guess we shall deal with this. <laughs> Ah yes, and Edward I, King of All Texans, a great announcement as we take Oklahoma. Outside the large capitol building, crowds were cheering, Ted sighed and adjusted his rope he swung upon at the large doors and stepped onto the podium. The crowds roared as they could finally see him, their Koenig. After words from his close partners, Ted kneeled and was presented with the golden crown entrusted with gems from across the Texan desert. New very interesting development. Yeah. And being a kingdom was all uh, jolly and good, but uh, it's about time we declare ourselves an empire. I know, it might be kind of soon we just declared ourselves a kingdom a year ago, but why be the kingdom of Texas when you can be the empire of America? Oh, and Tucker and Trudeau made an alliance. Why? Oh wait, oh, even bigger oh no, I guess? <laughs> But yes, it's time for our first war. We're fighting against an enemy without any artillery or support companies, so I have um, faith in my divisions here. Oh, and that was weird. We started winning, we started destroying their divisions, victory was in sight, and then we were automatically white pieced. I, I don't know why. I can only hope that there's some sort of event explaining why, but who knows? It might just be a mystery. Oh, yeah, uh, hmm. I, I see why we were white pieced with them now. Okay. So I guess that's just what they get. If they will not kneel before the Imperial Throne, then they get to destroy themselves. Yeah. Anyways, time to uh, destroy the American Reich. They have existed too long and they are extremely cursed and have way too many potentially powerful decisions, so yeah. We, we really need to take these guys out. And the people they were fighting capitulated, so we're the only ones in the peace deal. Also, the great, the great war has finally begun. The climax to this story here. We have, we have a focus here. One focus to end it all. And the Midwest is falling to the united effort of King Edward and Biden. Never, never thought that this would be happening. Very unexpected alliance here. For some reason, they only wanted to take this one state, actually, so we got everything besides this. This is a good mod, though. I'm excited for it to be finished. It's very promising. It's nice how it takes place in the modern day. There was that other Time Machine USA mod I also played, but it was like, what if modern America teleported back to 1936? This is just modern America. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. More stuff coming soon now that I'm finally not as busy, and I will see you all next time.